web request this function is very important the function sends an http request to a specified server so this is the function web request that we'll be using this is the same for mt mql4 and mql5 meaning it is the same for mt4 trade copier ea and mt5 trade copier ea there are two forms of this function web request first form is int web request it will return an int that will be the http code is if it is 200 that means that request has been successful it is 404 that means not found 400 means unauthorized so it will just return the http response code cost string cost means that we cannot change this once we declare it cost string method the method i have told you in the previous video will be get and post get method is when we want to get an update and post is when we want to post a message when we want to uh, post a, a message or we when want to post a, a photo on the telegram so in the coming videos i'll show you we can even send uh, chart photos to the telegram bot cost string url this is the url this will be the url of the telegram api api dot telegram cost string cookie cost string referral cost uh in, in, in time out how, how many how much time so uh, after that it should uh, disconnect so cost car data this ampersand means that by reference when we call a function the function creates its own variables in between the curly braces i have explained to you in the previous videos so whatever whatever happens between the function curly braces it gets destroyed once the function returns the call so it doesn't affect the other program in any way but once we use by reference, so we can use a variable that has been defined outside the function. And then we can use this by reference method to access that variable inside the function, change it. So it will also change outside the function. Sometimes we do it, but uh, it's not uh, recommended because uh, they can sometimes the change uh, can be unexpected in mql4 and mql5 all these arrays are passed to the function by reference we, we create them outside and the function then uses those arrays and uh, changes them and that change will be available outside the function also after that we have in data size car result result is also an array by reference and then string result headers this is one form of the web request this is second form of the web request cost string method cost string url cost string headers in timeout cost char data char result string result headers so we can use either this method or this method so both will work for us and this is the explanation http method url request that is a type key value separated by line break line break is always forward slash r forward slash n forward slash n is the new line and forward slash r is return carriage cookie value value of the referral matter of the http request timeout in milliseconds data array of the http message body size of the data array an array containing server response data, server response header, server response code, or minus one forever. So if uh, the value is minus one, that means there was an error and no communication was possible. Now these are uh, two uh, examples that are given in that uh, MQL4 reference.
रोस्टिंग कुकीज नल हेडर्स कार पोस्ट रिजल्ट सो वी डिक्लेयर दिस पोस्ट एंड रिजल्ट देन वी चूज दैम इन दिस फंक्शन वेब रिक्वेस्ट सेम गूगल यू आर एल सो वी आर ट्राइंग टू एक्सेस एच टी टी पी एस गूगल डॉट कॉम फॉर लास्ट रिसेट लास्ट एर टाइम आउट इज फाइव सेकेंड रेस्ट वेब रिक्वेस्ट वी यूज गेट मैथड गूगल यू आर एल कुकी नल टाइम आउट पोस्ट जीरो रिजल्ट हेडर्स प्रिंट सो इफ द रिजल्ट इज माइनस वन एरर इन वेब रिक्वेस्ट एरर कोड file format has been successfully loaded file size byte array, array, array size so this is one web request you can go through it and this is another web request here we are using the password and the user name and we are trying to post this uh, euro dollar m5 chart so it will be in mql5 folder files so this is the res in the char data char file car i have given you i have explained to you car variable is just a character so when we are using the http protocol we will be communicating using these characters all these uh, integers double string they will be converted into characters over the internet and then this message will be broken into packets and then they will travel on the in fiber optic cables and then they, they will reach our expert advisors and then they will read those messages reassemble them so this is how this uh, functions work don't worry in the coming videos i'll explain more about how we are going to work with these functions this was a brief introduction you should uh, go through this web request also we can use this web request to communicate with all sorts of websites or all sorts of uh, servers so this is a very powerful method at our disposal